Hello, how to evaluate with our calculator 16 power 6 minus 16 power 5. So you can have it as this is 16 instead of having 6 here. You have 5 plus 1, which is the 70 and 6 minus 16 power 5. So we apply a power n plus m equals a power n times a power m. This will be 16 power 5 times 16 power 1 minus 16 power 5. So this is 16 power 5 here. 16 power 5 here. We factor it out. This is 16 power 5 times this. We divide this. We have 16 minus 16 power 5 divided 16 power 5. We have 1. So from here, we have 16 power 5 times 16 minus 1. That is 15. So we need to find the value of 16 power 5 times 15. Now we can express this 16 as, remember, 16 equals 2 power 4. So this is 2 power 4 all to the power of 5 times 15. If you have a power n times m equals a power n times m. You multiply 4 times 5, that is 20. So you have 2 power 20 times 15. Then what we are going to do is, instead of having 20 here, we have 10 times 2. So we are going to have 2 to the power of 10 times 2. This is times 15. So from here, if you have a power n times m, this equals a power n or power m. Now we are going to have 2 to the power of 10 or to the power of 2 times 15. And from here, 2 to the power of 10 equals 2 to the power of 5 times 2. And this is 2 to the power of 5, this is 32 to the power of 2. And this will give you 1024. So this is 1024 power 2 times 15. So from here, we need to express this as this is 1000 plus 24 raised to the power of 2 times 15. Now, this is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2. And this equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And this is our a, this is our b. So we can have something like 1000 squared plus 2 times 1000 times 24 plus b squared, which is 24 power 2. This is to expand this, and the whole of this will then multiply 15. So from here, we have 1,000 squared, that is 1 million, plus 2 times 1,000, 2,000, 2,000 times 24, that is 48,000, plus 24 squared, that is 24 times 24, that is 576 times 15. So we add up everything together. 1 million. Then plus, this is 48,000. 576. We add up everything. This is 6, 7, 5, 8, 4, 0, 1. So this is 1,048,576. So we multiply everything by 15 to get the final answer. Now, what we are going to do is, now for us to multiply this by 15, we can simply have 1,048,576 
times this is 15. We can express this 15 as 10 plus 5 because 10 plus 5 is 15. So we are going to expand this. This will multiply 10, then also multiply 5. So let's multiply the first one by 10. So we are going to have 1, 0, 4, 8, 5, 7, 6, 0. Plus, we need to multiply this by 5. So let's do that quickly. We have 1, 0, 4, 8, 5, 7, 6 times 5. This is multiplication. 5 times 6, 30. 0 carry over 3. 5 times 7, that is 35. 35 plus 3, 38. 8 carry over 3. 5 times 5, 25. 25 plus 3, 28. 8 carry over 2. 5 times 8, that is 40. 40 plus 2, 42. So you have 2 carry over 4. Now you have 5 times 4, that is 20. 20 plus 4, that is 24. 4 carry over 2. 5 times 0, that is 0. 0 plus 2, that is 2. Now 5 times 1, that is 5. So you bring down the 5 here. Now this is what we are getting. We are getting 5,242,880. So we need to add it to this to get our final answer. So we are going to have this is 1,048,057. Okay, this is 10,485,760 plus that's 10,485,760 plus this is 5 million. 242,880. Okay, we are going to add these two together. So, let's rearrange it again. 10 million four eight five seven sixty five million two four two. 8, 8, t. Right? 0 plus 0, 0. 6 plus 8. This is 14. 4 carry over 1. Add here. This becomes 16. 6 carry over 1. And add here. This becomes 8. So, 8 plus 4, 12. 2 carry over 1. Add here. This becomes 7. This is 5. Then we have one. So we are having 15 million seven hundred and twenty eight thousand six hundred and forty. So this is our final answer without a calculator. 15 million seven hundred twenty eight thousand six hundred and forty. So that is it for 16 power 6 minus 16 power 5 without a calculator. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.